today I'm going to do a, ooh, here's, sorry, this is Buster. He wants to say hi. He's a little chihuahua that we're just dog sitting for for the long weekend. I know, I know. Yes, get down. So I'm sorry if you hear any of the dogs in the background. They might be playing, but um, yeah, I just decided to do a first impressions of the Kevin O'Quan um, new foundation balm I have here. I recently showed this in my part one of the Sephora haul. So this is a, a foundation balm, which, you know, I haven't really seen that kind of uh, description before for a foundation. So it really intrigued me and I was lucky enough to get one of my shades. I don't really know if this is the correct shade or not. Before it sold out on Sephora, I don't know. They, it, looks, it looks like they restocked some of the shades now, but the sale is already over. But yeah, I know a lot of people were interested in seeing how this performs, how it wears. Um, I've already spoilered, um, you know, watched a few um, reviews from other YouTubers, uh, Mel Thompson, Michelle Wong, and Hannah Poston um, review this balm. They had mixed reviews. I think Mel Thompson, sorry, the dog is moving the tripod. Uh, Mel Thompson, I believe, really did like the, the foundation, but I think Michelle Wong and uh, Hannah Poston didn't like it so much. So I just wanted to try it out for myself, see how I like it since I don't typically wear foundations. And this seemed like a pretty full coverage foundation, which I really don't usually go for. So I'm interested to see. And so this is the box and packaging and everything. I forgot to show in my haul that it does come with a foundation brush so that was a nice touch to it so um it feels very soft and like densely packed so hopefully this will apply the foundation well i usually tend to use a sponge but yeah i'm going to use the brush and this is the foundation itself it's pretty small but i heard you just need a little bit and it goes like a long way it covers the whole face maybe and just like one really uh dip into the pot um, this is medium 5.5 so it just was like a medium skin tone for neutral undertones I always thought you know earlier on that yellow undertones were suitable for my skin because I'm Asian and uh, kind of get the golden um, skin tan and everything but I really I don't think it really is yellow I you know I still have issues trying to figure that out but I, I tend I think now to really go for more neutral um, because I think I am kind of fair medium and neutral doesn't seem to make it too yellow I think that's more for like tanner um, skin types and everything so yeah so I went with the neutral and yeah let's just see I already did my eye look today um, I used the new uh, ABH Jackie Ina palette. I love this palette. I think it's going to be my new favorite uh, Anastasia eyeshadow palette. I love the packaging, the iridescent kind of faux snake skin, crocodile skin, whatever it's supposed to be. And the shades that I used, I'll just show you real quick. I wanted to do my eyes first so it doesn't like cause fallout or anything on the foundation itself. I used the shades, sorry, I don't want to blind you. Ginger there in the bottom corner, right there. And then I use this shade here. Um, what is that one called? I can't read. Credit, kind of in the outer corner. And then I had to use this beautiful green duochrome that is called Sponsored. That was like the main reason why I wanted to get this palette. It has that like green, gold kind of shift to it. And in the inner corner, I couldn't really decide on any of the shades in this palette, so I pulled out the Prism palette and I used the gold shade Pyramid for the inner corner. And I just used the Milk Makeup Eyeliner. Um, I forget what it's called, <laughs> sorry. But the, the brown one with sparkle and shimmer in it. And I already put a primer down on my face. I used the Farsali Gold Elixir. I just need to use that up, so I figured I'd just use that for, I'm not, I don't tend to usually go for glowy, uh, primers or setting mist or anything but since this is supposed to be more mattifying I figured I could use that as the base so let's just go in um I'll do a wear test see how I like it see if it's worth your money or not so yeah I'm just gonna take the brush here and here is the shade all nice and smooth and new just kind of tap it in there Okay, so I did a couple taps, so I didn't really get too much on the brush, but you know, we'll see. Let me get a mirror here in front of me. See how this goes. 
I know Buster he wants to get in my lap. He's just the cutest little dog. So I didn't feel like I really got too much product on that. So let me just do a couple harder taps. Okay, there we go. I do think the shade match is pretty good. Um, I wasn't quite sure. I said in my Sephora haul how I was leaning more towards the 4.5, um, but then I saw Mel Thompson got the 4.5, and she, I feel like she is fairer than me. Um, and come here. And so I was like, oh, maybe I should go for a little bit darker then. And Michelle Wong got the 3.5, and I, I did feel like that was way too light for her, but I don't know. I think it does look different, um, you know, on camera versus in person. Like, I've noticed some... So I've, I've been going back and forth into this, so I don't know. I guess could really add more onto my brush, but I always start lighter-handed just and figure I could always add more if I need to. Um... What was I saying? Yeah, uh, I always feel like, you know, on camera it could look different than when you actually, you know, are doing it in the cam <laughs> in person, in the mirror and everything. So it all translates differently in the light and everything on film. So I'm right now liking this foundation. I feel like it does go on pretty smoothly. It can be built up. I'm just kind of brushing it all over. I can't really notice it too much. So I keep, keep it loading it onto my brush. actually kind of really see it on my skin but I mean I don't want it to be like noticeable or too cakey looking or anything because like I said I don't usually oh it's okay Shh. he's crying he wants attention I usually do full coverage foundations Buster do you want to go outside do you not want to be in my room anymore with me Lay down, lay down. So, like I said, I think you can build it up, but um, I think I just kind of like the layer I did right now because I still like a natural finish. I still like to be able to see some of my freckles and everything come through and not just be completely like matte and, and like I said, cakey. I have a couple healing acne marks over here, so I'll try and blend it over that into my neck. So I think this shade is a good shade match. Um, see, I feel like it does look paler on camera than in person, but I think it is a pretty good shade match. It does seem to have kind of a peachy... It's still neutral, but a, a tad peachy undertones to it. And I like how it feels on the skin. It, it really feels weightless. You can't feel it at all. We'll see how it sets down and everything. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. So that is it on my skin. I like it so far, so let's see how it wears throughout the day. I'm going to run some errands outside in this 100 degree weather. So we'll see how that holds up to that, see if it starts to break apart. Some people were saying it really clings to their dry patches and, you know, they might not have super dry skin, but they can really notice it on the dry patches of their skin. Um, I don't have dry skin, but I don't, I don't think I notice it really clinging to any particular part. Mm. 
Not that I can tell. Yeah, or that it would break up around their nose and like settle into their laugh lines and everything, but so far, I don't see anything. Yeah, I think it was pretty good. So, I mean, maybe I didn't use like so much, but I saw, um, there it is now. I saw, I, you know, you saw me keep tapping into it. I saw Hannah post and she only did like one tap and she like managed to like cover her whole face with it. So that was surprising. I, I did feel like I had to keep going in and uh, just, you know, slowly building it um, onto my brush because I didn't want to have too much after seeing her, her review, her video on it. So we'll see how this goes for the rest of the day, like I said, and I'll check back in and show you at the end of the day how it looks, if it still looks the same or if I notice anything um, breaking apart on any areas or anything like that. So I'm going to do just a quick rest of my makeup. Um, I forgot bronzer. One second. So I wanted to use a couple new items as well for the rest of my face. Um, this isn't new, really. It's the Fenty bronzer in Shady Biz. I've already used this a lot before. I hauled it, I think, from my birthday video haul, Vegas haul. Um, but I really do like this bronzer because it's like matte and very, um, like not too orange. I can't believe Sephora is next weekend. How crazy is that? I feel like we bought tickets like what months ago and suddenly it's already gonna be here. I have to pack for that. I'm gonna do a um, pack with me for Sephora cause you know, it's just like so hard to figure out what outfits to bring, how, you know, you wanna be comfortable cause you're gonna be walking around a lot but you wanna be also like cute and glamorous a little bit. So it'd just be hard to figure that out. Um, I'm going to use the new Marc Jacobs highlighter. I had three for my recent Sephora haul and I just decided I would try this one because I want to see if it really is glittery or not, if it really is the right um, color for my skin tone. So there it is. It's the beautiful glittery packaging and it's in the shade Showstopper. So let's just try this and see how it goes. It's very glittery. But very soft. Ooh. Oh yeah. Definitely see the micro glitter on your face. Maybe you can't tell on camera. Let me try the other cheek here. So Tara Babies was saying with this highlighter, like it's not really like super metallic or in your face. Um, I think the shade that they released before that was definitely more beaming than this one. I'm not really a fan of this one. I don't know. I mean, you can't tell on camera, but like, in the mirror, I see pink glitter, like right here. Mm -mm. Can you see it right there? So that, I don't know, I'm just, I'm not a glitter highlighter person. It's definitely more on this side than this side, so that's kind of weird. Maybe it is just a glitter overspray. So maybe once you kind of get past that, it won't be so glittery and it's just like pink glitter. Not, not the biggest fan of this. Huh. So, 
We'll leave it for now. Like I said, it might just be an overspray because it didn't seem to get too much on that side and I was kind of dipping in the same spot. I'm gonna try a new blush. It's the new Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur blush in Coral Cloud. I'm actually gonna show this in my end of the month haul for August. Um, I got this from Ulta and it just has the coolest texture. It's like, it's like a cream to powder formula almost. Just kind of light swatch there, but let's take my blush brush. Take up a lot of product. So yeah, as I was saying, you know, I'll do a pack with me for Sephora, packing some outfits. Um, this time I definitely think I will overpack just to have some options because we want to be comfortable, but we might be attending some of the um, VIP events afterwards or anything. And then, you know, you want to be glamorous. So it's like, and there's not much time between, I'm going to sessions one and two on Saturday and because we're driving back Sunday and there's not much time um, that they give you in between sessions. And we definitely want to try to stop back at the hotel between them and drop off our swag bags and possibly change and refresh a little bit before the second session. And so it's just going to be like so time crunch. We probably won't have time to eat a meal or anything. We'll just bring snacks along. <laughs> and I just feel like the skin looks very smooth and and just kind of photo photo finish there yeah with the foundation I think it really is the foundation um so I'm looking forward to it but I also think it's just gonna be crazy non-stop hectic chaotic and <laughs> just I'm excited though I really want to you know see all the makeup booths, meet these girls that, you know, we've been group chatting with about the event that are all going and uh, finally meeting my friend Susie from Instagram. So that's going to be really exciting and just getting lots of makeup and freebies and, you know, just seeing all of that. So I'm going to, um, before I put on lipstick, I'm going to use a new setting powder. It's the new Anastasia setting powder. It's this huge tub and this is the shade Banana. Part of me was like, oh, maybe I should have gone a shade lighter, but... I don't know, it looks okay, so let's see here. Is it, oh, I can't tell. Oh, it is a sticker, okay. I couldn't tell if it was like a cap on the sifter or what. Little sticker without the top, it's cute. Take this. Oh. It doesn't look too, too yellow. Ooh. Yeah, that's a little bit too much there. And then I'm still waiting for my last Sephora order to arrive so I could do part two of my Sephora haul, as well as um, include it with the rest of my end of the month haul. I just figured might as well just combine it all since there's just a few more items, so not too crazy. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look too yellow or anything on my skin. Kind of just nicely blurs it. I think it will work well with this foundation. So yeah, I'm going to turn off the camera for now, play with the dogs a little bit, get ready to go run some errands, and then I will check back with you um, towards the end of the day and see how this whole foundation looks. Um, and the US Open is on, so I've been watching tennis a lot lately and rooting for Federer. I just want him to win one more Grand Slam this year and it's the last one, so, so he's been doing well. Hopefully he can take home the trophy, unlike Wimbledon. I'm still salty about that. Yeah, I know, I just, I can't let it go. Um, so yeah, so that is my Saturday and I will see you later, bye. Okay guys, I'm back and 
I am pretty happy with this foundation. Um, so I think it worked really well with my combo oily skin. Maybe it's because I didn't layer it too much. Um, I mean, but you saw me going in earlier um, multiple times into the jar and just applying it all over, but I think it was pretty natural kind of light coverage that I, I did with the foundation. Um, I am pretty glowy. It is about seven hours later now since I applied it. I have had to uh, kind of not powder, but I just ran my brush over um, the shiny bits of my face uh, two times throughout the day. I, I would say the first time was right after I ran some errands. So that was about two hours after wearing the foundation. My nose was just completely super shiny and oily and kind of like the T-zone area. So I just took my powder brush and I didn't apply any powder. I just brushed it over those parts and it was fine. Um, I didn't notice any kind of breakup of the foundation or anything. And then uh, a few hours later, I'm just, you know, watching tennis and everything. And I started to just feel overall sweaty and, and just hot from the day and everything. Um, so I was just like, okay, yeah, I need to blot again. So I just ran my powder brush all over my face again. And, you know, it still looks pretty glowy right now. But I, I think um, the foundation really worked well for me. I didn't notice any kind of dry spots it was clinging to. Not that I have really dry skin. I did notice that, like, kind of around my nose, it is starting to break up a little bit around the nostril area. Um, not so much on that side, but this side, I think you could see it. It's kind of, like, broke up a little bit and could see it a little bit cakey there but overall not bad at all like my hairline I don't really notice anything um the chin area I don't think it oxidizes too much I did notice a little bit um of a shade difference between my neck and the uh, area that I applied it but I don't think it was like super oxidized or anything I think it just, you know, might have been my blending skills not bringing it down farther onto the neck, but not super noticeable like other uh, foundations and just seem to be normal, you know, wear away um, or wear to it. But yeah, overall, I, I enjoyed the foundation balm. I think it provides a nice natural look for my combo oily skin, like I said, and just felt like it, it made my skin just feel like still natural, but smooth and kind of that, not flawless, but like just created that nice canvas for evening out my skin tone a little bit, but still keeping it um, a little bit transparent. So like you could still see some of the acne scars and everything that are healing. So it wasn't like super full coverage, but I'm sure I can, if I applied more, build it up to more full coverage. So I think I am overall really pleased with it. I do not plan on returning it and I liked it overall. So I think, um, yeah, it worked pretty well for me. I'm with the Mel Thompson in the reviews where she she really enjoyed it on her skin. Um, so yeah, I think it just depends on, you know, what you're looking for in a foundation and whether or not it works for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, like I said, I got the shade 5.5, so I was really happy with the shade match for my uh, slightly tanner skin there. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, you guys. Bye.